Hello and welcome to our Year with the Ears, our daily vlog where we relive our year living in the Walt Disney World Resorts in 2019. Today is day 109. Today is the final day of that business boot camp and mastermind that we've been attending over by the airport. So I got up very early to leave Pop Century and head over there for that. It is checkout day, so I had to make sure all my bags were packed up before I left the resort. Now I actually did not go with Robert this morning for a couple different reasons. One, I was exhausted after the last few days, all that mental thinking and everything. But I also did not sleep well last night because we were not on the top floor. There were people above us and they apparently didn't ever go to sleep the whole night because I heard them walking around and sounding like it they were dropping things over and over again. I'm a very light sleeper and so I was pretty much up most of the night. I was exhausted when it was time to get up. So I decided to stay back and get all of our stuff packed up and ready to go and try and take a nap before that 11 o'clock checkout. So hopefully I'll be good to go later in the day. Yeah, having a white noise app on your phone is really helpful, but sometimes things are just louder than the white noise app is. Now I sleep through pretty much anything anyway, so mm -hmm. I wasn't bothered by all of that noise, but apparently it was pretty bad. It was. Thankfully, I was able to get a couple hours of sleep, which was incredibly helpful for being able to go the rest of the day. I called Bell Services to come and get our larger suitcases and the smaller ones that I had left. Robert took his smaller suitcase and his laptop bag, those things, but I still had a couple things, so they took all of that for me. And I went for a walk around the resort just to enjoy the beautiful day and kind of get my day started because I was still a little groggy from that nap I took. Afterwards, I did call an Uber and they took me out and I joined Robert at the conference. Yeah, and she got there just in time for lunch, which in I'm my opinion is perfect timing. Right, you get there just in time to eat. <laughs> so we finished out the day of the mastermind there with everyone and had a really great time, learned a lot and made a lot of really good connections too, networking with everyone there. Very much enjoyed the event and we're really, really glad that we went. As everything was wrapping up, they did say that they had a large group reservation across the street at Carrabba's if everybody wanted to go. So we decided we'd go ahead and go over there. And once again, we didn't take any pictures of our food. It is so unusual for us to not take pictures of our food or post about it. But we were just there to talk, network, enjoy being with the people that were there, and enjoy the food too. So we didn't take any photos, just enjoyed a dinner there. We stayed and talked for quite a long time, enjoying the food and the company, before finally heading back to Pop Century. We did have a room at this point because it is much later in the night. So we of course went to the room, took some detail pictures, took 360 pictures, and of course did a live room tour on Facebook. Uh, new remodel they did with all the new furniture and everything. It has two queen beds. One of them is a standard queen bed with the uh, risers underneath the bed so you can store luggage underneath and things like that. The other one is a Murphy bed that's folded up into the wall here inside this little case. And there's a table with chairs at the base of it. And when you're ready to pull the bed out, all you do is grab those chairs and pull them out of the way. And you can pull the bed down right over the table. You can see the table just kind of folds right up and the bed drops down for you. And you have another queen bed right here. And if you'd like to see that entire room tour, it is linked down in the description below and up in the corner. Now this room was a preferred pool view room here at Pop Century, which honestly is the best location as far as proximity to the front of the resort, the food court, the front desk, all that is right there but not exactly our favorite category. In fact, this is one of our least favorite categories because preferred pool view rooms are right there by the main pool, which means that anytime that pool is open, you are going to have noise from the pool. And even in our room tour, you can kind of see and hear people down in the pool mm -hmm. up there on the top floor by our room, you can still hear people. So we are in really one of the best locations as far as proximity to the front. Uh, only downside of having these pool view rooms is, uh, as you can tell, it's a little, noise. a little bit noisy um, for this time of night. So if you're a person that likes to go to bed early, you may not want to uh, have a pool view if you're here in a month that the water is warm enough to swim in. So pretty much February to December. So. <laughs> We're not big fans of preferred pool view. We'd much rather just be preferred a little bit further away from the front in the building, but still 
closer than those standard view rooms. But either way, we're only here for three nights, so it doesn't really matter how much we like the room. We called Bell Services and had them bring all of our bags up, and as soon as they got there, we went out for a walk around Hourglass Lake. It's so pretty to walk around here at night because you have a beautiful view of the lake. It's very peaceful, it's very quiet and it gave us some time to talk about everything we've learned, thoughts about everything from the last few days, and clear our head from all the learning we've done. But we also got to enjoy all these random facts that they have posted around the lake there. And so we, of course, had to stop at every single one tonight and read them because they're just really cool to learn and we wanted to see what each of them have said and we haven't stopped to read all of them before. So we finally decided that tonight was the night we were gonna do that. So we just took a picture of every single one we stopped at along the entire route. After walking around for a while and just enjoying the very peaceful evening, we did go back to our room and head to bed because we have had a very exhausting last few days. We're ready for some sleep. So that was the end of our day today, and we'll see you tomorrow for our year with the ears.